Any idea why I keep you at your house? I don't know. But he seems to know my mom. And he's super creepy. Okay. Send me a sketch. And I'll look into it. Wait, is that it? Is there something else? No, but this is taking too long. What if she's... What if whoever has her wants to hurt her? We're doing everything in our power to find your mom. In the meantime, you can't be running around at all hours. I found you a suspect. Sammy, I need you to stay at your grandmother's house, where it's safe. I will call you back if I hear anything more. What about the threatening messages? I for those two. He's got an airtight. He's got some security footage of him. Carney's probably the whole night. He's a creep. Hi guys, my mommy is on my brain, on my mind. Tomorrow is her birthday. Um, we'll be getting more rain today. I saw that on the forecast. So I'll do more shopping on Wednesday. I'll probably go to Walgreens first to get more of that uh, watermelon water. Did I ever show you that water? It, it's kind of pretty sweet, but not really sweet. But I'll get two of them this time. And this right here. For only two bucks. And after that, um, I will go to the market. Get more of my coffee and chicken dinner meal. But yeah, um, no sushi this week because I want to go to the uh, Pride Fest. So, um, that is really aching. I don't know why. So sore. I don't know what those sores are. Somebody said it could be allergies. But no allergies would do that to my nose, would they? No. So. If it's not better by Wednesday, I will go into the walk-in because I'm going to be busy today. I'm watching another Lifetime movie and at like 1 o'clock I'll start going over to my chiropractor. What's uncertain is whether Elle was ever witness it or whether she manifested that in her head. Either way, the incident left her traumatized. So she might have made it up. Oh, it's not that simple. 
The brain doesn't separate reality versus perceived reality. It was real to her when my hypnosis stabilized her. She ever turned to drugs to escape her problem? Not that I'm aware of. We found ketamine in her system. She didn't get it from me. We didn't say she did. Miss Ravioli is heaven. You said everything was fine. Everything was gonna be fine. Why did you say you called her that night? Because I did. and walk down to the restaurant's um, bus stop. I don't want to, um, you know, spend too much time on the bus today, you know what I mean? So I'll dress up in my coat and stocking cap because it's going to be raining by the time I go outside, I guess. So, yeah. Um, goodness, is what... It's like, it almost like a canker sore, doesn't it? Huh. But yeah, I love my mom and my kitty. I love my baby kitty cat. Oh, I love her, love her, love her. I love my mommy too. Mm-hmm. I love you, Billy Johnson. There's no one else in the world that I would rather spend the rest of my life with than you. Does this mean that? Yeah. <laughs> I love you so much, Elvira. I love you too. I'm always there for them. They depend on me. A call reporting a domestic situation in one of the projects sends Mo to the scene. What are you on play? Huh? What are you on play? He live here? What you doing with his gun? Oh, you was over there, John. I'm gonna rest forever. I'm gonna put this in a Come out here. Don't touch me. Come out there. Wait, are you under arrest? Are you okay? You're stuck. In other words, you're telling me it's all right for me to hit you in the head with a gun. He didn't hit me in my head with no gun. Where you got that mole from? I don't know where I got that mole from. Yeah. 
you think you should remember your wallet this time? Yes, you did. Okay. All right. Look wet out there. So yeah, as soon as I go outside, I'm gonna put you in my bag. got done at the chiropractic I had a poop. Holy crap. I farted and it came out like water. Sorry about the TMI. I'm in their bathroom right now. Oh, it smells like Cheerios. Whew. Constipation does this to me, I guess. Dears on Amazon Prime. Okay. <laughs> it looks like I'm kidnapping Eeyore. <laughs> it's his tail loose. <laughs> See ya. Alright, have a good day. I plan on going to um, the uh, 400 block and stuff for oh, when does that start? Saturday, uh, 11 o'clock, I think. Oh, okay. Maybe 11.30, I don't know. but there are some new antidepressants on the market. Doesn't matter. Adrian Monk had this much confidence to begin with. This will probably kill him. What have you got to say to that? It wasn't me. I should just quit. Quit? Why don't I? Just quit. Now, today, never leave the house again. If I had any decency at all... Oh, I, I won't let you quit, Adrian. You're too good a detective. I haven't been sleeping. Been up all night, reviewing my old cases. How many other mistakes have I made? What else did I miss? How many other innocent people are sitting in some cell right now because, Adrian, it was one case. One case is enough. Not again. God's in his heaven, that's what he should do.
mother was? What? When I was in the third grade, you knew where she was, and you never told me. The address was old, even then. Professional show dogs. <laughs> what? The graves will be so confused. Why is that human that I abducted? Running around in circles and jumping over gates, that will stop them for three to five minutes. We need to start thinking about a plan B. Hmm? What? Yeah. Hey, that guy looks an awful lot like... <gasps> oh, my God, that's the alien tracker. He's sitting in a booth with Liv. Why is he with Liv? Is he ordering pie? I don't know. Let's go. I was here earlier. There's only one left. <laughs> yes, it's a short man. You're the son of a bitch. Joy is a trick. Doesn't last forever. It breaks your heart every time. Really, gotta get started. What was that? What's going on? In case if I forget, good night everybody and good night mom. Um, no scared me, my boyfriend Eeyore, and your boyfriend Piglet. Hug and kiss your grandchild, who is a grand kitty child. My baby girl Patty. I love her, love her, love her. So hug and kiss her like there's no tomorrow. And yes, everybody, I will be going to bed soon. I'm watching Monk, and I'm going to play a couple more games and then go to bed. And I was eating that mint Oreo ice cream sandwich again. Oh. Hi, excuse me. I'm sorry. I've known Mr. Monk for a long time, and he really loves Christmas. It's his favorite holiday. Uh-huh. You know, he comes to our school Christmas present every single year, and he decorates our tree. Yes, and here's the thing. He's just a little bit particular, just about certain things. So, yeah, he's um special. In a good way. Yeah, yeah. special. Yeah. So, if you would mind just being a little bit, a little bit sensitive. Now, we're pouring this tea I know all about attention deficit disorder. I did a prime time special on it. Want to look at me? No, no, no. He, it's not attention deficit. No, no. He, he just has compulsion. Yeah. You know, rituals. He's, He's a like, big boy. Jerry, let's do this. Everybody settle. Great. Thanks for watching. Anyway, I thought you might be interested. I live near that crazy cop monk. The one that shot Santa? Getting ready for bed, like take my pills, brush my teeth, 
get naked at sleep. Again, my boobs need to breathe too. They've been in my bra all day long. So, see you in a few seconds, okay? And then after that is Bingo Blitz. O sixty two N forty I thirty G fifty six N thirty two G fifty two B six Round over. one finger telling her to hold on a second and then i went to my dad's room i explained him the situation and he had told me to stay put in the bedroom with my stepmom he then fetched my sister and brought her into the room with us we sat silently as my dad went outside to go speak with the woman we couldn't really hear from inside but i was terrified was this a trap was she planning to break in were there others outside this was all rushing through my mind, and yet my stepmom, the angel she is, kept me calm and assured me that nothing bad was going to happen to us. As we sat in the quiet room, we had heard what sounded like a diesel truck speeding. Pictures of him having beers with the boys, a couple of nice cars, group pictures of random people with generic nicknames. This was a man that wanted to express nothing more than being hashtag Friday bless. But looking a little closer, there were a few cracks in the facade. For example, there were a couple more recent comments he'd made to a few friends of his. God doesn't just send angels to protect you, he said in one post. Sometimes he sends demons to test you. Looking a bit closer revealed a lot more pain than was readily apparent. Ian was taking medication for schizophrenia, and I began to cough. I flipped my laundry over to the dryer, inserting change into the machine with shaky fingers. I hit the start button and the machine jumped to life. The old overworked drum inside spinning loudly, squeaking and squealing until it began to pick up speed and turn smoothly. 
It was constantly being repaired, and usually left our clothes slightly damp, even when turned up to high. After that, I walked back over to the elevator and got on. It started to climb, and I began to have that feeling again. Only this time it was like I was ascending up into the dark storm cloud, as the elevator rose up to our floor. The air felt full of static electricity, and the dread and doom blossomed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 